a celestial body shrouded in mystery where the only constant is the endless expanse of water. This is the concept of a water-only planet, a theoretical existence that challenges our terrestrial perspectives. In the vast tapestry of the universe, such a world is not beyond the realm of possibility. As we probe the cosmos, we come across planets with conditions markedly different from our own. Among them could be a water world, a planet where the surface is completely covered by oceans with no land in sight. This aquatic planet would be a stark contrast to Earth, our blue marble that boasts a diverse landscape of mountains, valleys and plains. A planet governed entirely by water would lack such geographical features. Here the terrain would be measured not in altitude but in depth, with the ocean floor being the closest thing to solid ground. The omnipresence of water would shape the world in unique ways. Life as we know it might take on forms beyond our imagination, adapting to an environment devoid of terrestrial elements. The seascape would be a canvas for evolutionary artistry, where the brush strokes of adaptation and survival paint a picture of life that defies our earthbound norms. Weather patterns on such a planet would also differ significantly. With no land to interrupt the flow of atmospheric currents, storms could reach incredible magnitudes, creating a spectacle of nature's raw power. The water cycle too would be an unbroken circle, with evaporation and precipitation occurring without terrestrial interference. But what about the planet's core? Could a solid core exist beneath the watery surface, or would the planet's depths plunge into a heart of liquid and ice? These questions add to the enigma of a water-only planet, fueling curiosity and speculation. Now that we have dipped our toes into the ocean of possibilities, let's dive deeper into the world of our hypothetical water planet. As we plunge beneath the surface, we will explore the potential life forms, ecosystems and the impact such a planet could have on our understanding of space exploration. The inhabitants of this world, what would they look like? How would they survive in an environment so different from ours? Imagine a planet entirely covered in water, a vast and endless ocean that plunges into uncharted depths. What kinds of life forms might you find there? The possibilities are as boundless as the ocean itself. In this liquid realm, the creatures that inhabit it would likely have evolved to adapt to their unique environment. Just as Earth's marine life has found ways to thrive in the harshest of conditions, from the bone-crushing pressure of the deep sea to the ice-cold waters of the poles, life on this water planet would also have adapted in remarkable ways. Perhaps similar to Earth's jellyfish, some creatures have evolved to be nearly transparent, blending in with the water around them as a form of camouflage. Or, like the electric eel, they might generate electricity to navigate, communicate or stun their prey in the darkness of the deep sea. The conditions in the deepest parts of the ocean might be similar to those on the water planet, with extreme pressure, low temperatures and a lack of sunlight. Creatures living in these conditions might resemble Earth's deep sea creatures, like the anglerfish, which uses a glowing lure to attract prey in the pitch black depths. Plants, the primary producers in most ecosystems, would also need to adapt. Perhaps instead of relying on sunlight for photosynthesis, they've evolved to harness the planet's thermal energy from underwater volcanic activity, much like Earth's deep sea vents that support thriving communities of life. The absence of land would also mean the absence of traditional land-based life forms. There would be no trees, no birds, no mammals as we know them. Instead, the ocean would be filled with a variety of marine creatures, each uniquely adapted to life in a world entirely covered by water. In this boundless ocean, life has not only survived, it has thrived. But how would these organisms interact with their environment? On Earth, we have a variety of ecosystems, each with its unique balance, but on this water planet, there's only one ecosystem, the ocean. Imagine an entire world submerged in water. The ecosystem of this water planet would be unlike anything we know. Instead of land and sea, mountains and valleys, we'd have a vast, endless ocean teeming with life, both familiar and alien. Now let's dive into this hypothetical ocean, exploring the food chains that might exist. At the base, we'd likely find microscopic organisms similar to Earth's plankton, 
harnessing the power of the sun to create energy, the primary producers. From there, the food chain would extend upwards. Smaller creatures would feed on these primary producers, and larger predators would then prey on these smaller creatures. This food chain would likely be more streamlined than on Earth, with fewer steps between the smallest organism and the largest predator. Energy transfer in this water world would occur much like it does in our oceans. Energy would flow up the food chain from primary producers to apex predators. However, due to the absence of land, this energy transfer would be more efficient with fewer losses along the way. The circulation of nutrients would be vital in this ecosystem. Nutrients would likely be carried by ocean currents swirling around the planet, feeding the primary producers. However, without land to provide additional nutrients, this circulation might be less diverse than what we see on Earth. The challenges of such a system are numerous. With only one type of ecosystem, the risk of catastrophic events disrupting the balance is high. On the other hand, the benefits are equally compelling. A single ecosystem would be simpler to understand and predict, offering unique opportunities for scientific discovery. In this vast ocean, life would need to adapt to survive. We'd likely see a myriad of unique adaptations from bioluminescent creatures lighting up the depths to super-efficient predators ruling the waves. In the vast expanse of a single ecosystem, balance is key and life finds a way. Our exploration of space has always been guided by the search for life. But would we recognize life on a water planet? Imagine, if you will, a world where land is a foreign concept, where the only substance that exists is water, in endless oceans stretching as far as the eye can see. This is a water planet, a celestial body that challenges our current understanding of life and its conditions. Space exploration, as we know it, is largely influenced by our experiences and knowledge of life on Earth. We search for planets with conditions similar to ours, looking for familiar signs of life. But a water-only planet? That's a curveball. It forces us to rethink our definition of habitability to consider the possibility of life existing in conditions vastly different from our own. Think about the technical implications. Our current space technology is designed for land exploration. Rovers like those used on Mars would be of little use on a water planet. We'd need to develop new technologies, perhaps something akin to submarines, to explore these aquatic worlds. What about the scientific opportunities? A water planet could be a treasure trove of information, a chance to study a completely different kind of ecosystem. It could provide insights into the evolution of life in extreme conditions, potentially rewriting our understanding of biology. The existence of a water planet also raises the tantalizing possibility of alien life. If life can thrive in Earth's deep oceans, surviving in extreme pressure and darkness, who's to say it can't exist on a water planet? However, a water planet also presents significant challenges. The lack of land would make landing and taking off exceedingly difficult. Communication could also be a problem, with water potentially interfering with signals. Despite these challenges, the discovery of a water planet would be a game-changer. It would push the boundaries of space exploration, forcing us to innovate and adapt. It would also serve as a reminder that life as we know it is not the only kind of life that could exist. A water planet might be different from what we know, but it reminds us that the universe is full of possibilities. A planet of water, a world of life, a universe of possibilities. We've delved into the mysteries of a water-only planet, imagining the unique conditions that could exist in such an environment. We've explored the potential life forms that could thrive in a world made entirely of water, from the microscopic to the massive, each contributing to a fascinating and intricate ecosystem. We've also pondered on the implications of a water planet for space exploration. With the potential for new life forms and resources, such a discovery could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and inspire future explorations. These hypothetical scenarios encourage us to think beyond our own earthly confines and challenge our understanding of life and the universe. It's a reminder that our universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unlocked. Whether we find a water planet or not, the journey of discovery continues. And in that journey, we learn more about the universe and ultimately about ourselves.